Yeah! Ow! How you like that screech? Homies, <laughs> what's up everybody? This is your boy, Venom, back to give you another video. Don't you just love my beginning taglines? It's so easy to remember. And that shriek always freaks people out sometimes. It always catches people off guard, which is why I do it. And in case people wondered, a little, little back history to me, I have been in metal bands before. So the shriek! Yow! That is natural. Well, actually I've had to learn. Not natural. <laughs> I've always been a screecher and a singer, and so on and so forth. I was actually a drummer for a long time, too. But um, enough about music. Let's get to the type of video that we're doing today. Now, I've been planning this for a few days, okay? And I have a friend, a really good friend of mine, which we will call him Foge. That's my nickname for him, and that was the dryer. Um, together we can become the best comedy duo on the face of the planet. And what I mean by that is our voice impressions. Alone, we're not as good. Together, we're amazing. And for this video, I was, I was going to have him send me some clips, some audio clips of him doing his voices, because he can do a lot more than me. But unfortunately, Mr. Foge has been very, very busy lately, and he was only able to send me one clip. Now, that doesn't mean that this video might it might actually have what, what I've been hoping for from him. You know, maybe he'll send me some more before I upload this video. But if not, we'll make a part two, and we'll add his in there, because he is funny as shit when his voices come along. It just, we got to keep him kind of contained, because he tends to... Uh, poke people with the things that he says. Uh, let's just say uh, he's not a racist, he's not a bigot, or anything like that, but he's very, very outspoken. And he will tell exactly what is on his mind no matter who it offends. No matter who, no matter what is going on, he doesn't care. Which is not a bad thing, because that's why I like him. Because he doesn't hold back, he tells it like it is. So... Uh, Foge, if you're watching, what's up, brother? So today, we're just going to do old Venom's voices. I'm just going to give you guys a couple. Because I haven't had a lot of practice lately because, honestly, I haven't been doing voices in a while. Uh, it used to be a big thing back in the day for me when I was a little bit younger. Because me and my buddies would get together and we'd prank call people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my very, very old channel... Um, I want to say it's Venom Forever 2012. I believe that's what it was. Uh, the reason why I'm not a part of it anymore is because I got locked out of the account. I tried to change the passwords and everything. It still wouldn't let me in, so screw it. It's too old, and I just let it go. It is still up. If you want to check those videos out, go ahead. There's some, some pretty funny prank calls on there. Uh, Arnold ones and Candy and Frank Reich with a C. So... And before y'all judge me, some of these voices might sound a little similar to other ones. Like this one I'm about to unveil right now. Yes, he was kind of, I don't want to say he was stolen from this original character, but he inspired me to do my own. If anybody has ever heard of Frank Rizzo, you know, from the Jerky Boys. Frank Rizzo, you fucking numb nut looking bastard. You fucking rubberneck. <laughs> yeah, that's Frank Rizzo. And Frank Reich, with a C, is about the same. He sounds about the same. So here we go. What's up, everybody? This is Frank Reich with a C. You know, with a C, a capital C. Do you know how to spell? It is not spelled with an S. It's spelled with a C. Do you understand, numbnuts? So listen here. I'm going to tell you a story about myself. I've been a mechanic for about, uh, you know, 30 years. And in them 30 years, I collected a lot of tools. A lot of big wrenches with a lot of people's names on them. And, uh, you know, uh, I had to split a few noggins and a few heads. Because people are, you know, kind of stupid nowadays. And, well, actually, they've always been stupid. Stupid is, stupid does, as they say. 
Well, now they're even more stupid because, uh, you know, I kind of split the noggin with a wrench. A big wrench. I keep shiny. It almost looks brand new. And then I take it to a specialist and they carve uh, somebody's name on it for me. And then I go and visit the house. While I'm driving a little red S10 with a giant toolbox in the flatbed. And then I open it up and, uh, you know, there's my uh, weapons of justice. Yeah. So, uh, you know... About my job there, uh, you know, I've been a mechanic for, uh, you know, about uh, 20 years. 20, 20 years, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of stupid shit in my life. But, uh, you know, the biggest stupidest amounts of shit I've ever seen is you people. <laughs> no, I love you guys. Frank's an asshole. Yeah. And if you don't like that, you can kiss my ass. Because I've been a mechanic for about, uh, you know, 10 years. 10 years or so, maybe 12, maybe 9, I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, so next time you see a little red S10 driving down the street, it is not your uh, your, your wife's uh, lover there, it's me, which might be your wife's lover, <laughs> and in the flatbed, I'm going to be carrying them riches with your names on it, so make sure you don't piss me off and call in my house and say, hey, can you come work on my car? I know you got experience there, uh, you turkey leg looking son of a bitch. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I got experience with wrenches and smacking people upside the head with them. Yeah. You know, because uh, my name is Frank Reich with a C. Get it right, or I, uh, you know, beat your ass. <laughs> I entertain myself. So that was Frank Reich. Next, we'll go with... Neo. So, one day, I was walking down the street, and I saw this stick, and I was like, whoa. And for some reason, the stick, he looked up at me. He looked up, and he was like, whoa. And then I looked down, and I was like, whoa. And then the stick said, Neo, why are you trying to step on me? And I was like, whoa, hey, you want to hear a really cool riddle? Two bees or not two bees? What was the question? Whoa. <laughs> There's my Neo impression. I used to be really good at it, but like I said, over time, I've kind of slowed down on my voices. And, of course, we're going to get to the grand finale because I don't want to bust out too many because I've had a lot of practice. The next one will be better, I promise. If you guys like this video, I'll make one more, and we will get Mr. Foji involved, and you'll get to hear all the crazy shit that he does. How we might even have a combo conversation between me and him. And we use the best voice of all. Arnold Schwarzenegger! Oh! So listen to me very carefully. I got the cake in my left hand. I got the cupcake in my right hand. I have a grenade <laughs> in my middle hand. Which one am I going to throw it to first? The cake! Because I'm going to eat the cupcake. I'm going to throw the cake. And I'm going to take the grenade. And I'm going to shove it up your ass and break your goddamn spine! So shut up! Now listen to me very carefully. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. My neural net processor is a learning computer. What you don't understand? I'm a cybernetic organism. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. And I'm looking for John Connor and Sarah Connor. I was going to take them down to the Wendy's restaurant and buy them all dinner. But instead, they chipped me with the bell, so I broke off the arms, and of course, I rammed them up the ass and broke the goddamn spines! And not only that, they would not put my cookie down! Put it down, that is not your cookie! That is mine! And if you ever touch my cookie again, I will shoot you in the face with a 9mm bullet! After I've eaten it and barfed it back out and then put it in a 9mm pistol and I shot you in the nose with it. 
Actually, that 9mm bullet came off my pizza. Because, you know, Arnold's Pizza Shop is open for business. The quarantine and the corona cannot stop Arnie. We are stronger than that. We make pretty babies. Do you understand, idiot? Don't be economical, girly man! <laughs> oh, shit, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like that? And, uh... <laughs> me and old Foji, uh, we both do Arnie. And when we're together, he's... Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm Arnie number one, but, you know, it's always back and forth. I'm Arnie number one, he's Arnie number two, or I'm Arnie 420, or Arnie T420, and he's Arnie T666, if you want to get technical. And when I tell you that we could go on with these voices until you get so mad that you want to shut my channel down, I am not shitting. My, uh, my wife... Absolutely hates it. Absolutely hates it when we get together. Because we get into the Arnold talk and we never respond any other way to anything unless we're talking like Arnold. Now imagine how annoying that gets. But God is it fun. And I feel bad for anybody watching any Terminator movie with us. <laughs> because through the whole movie, all we do is talk like this. Hey listen, you idiot. Hold still while I extend my finger and then let it go into your eye. Wait, where does your eye? Ow! <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, guys, hopefully I didn't offend anybody. And if I did, well, then you're too soft and you need some toughening up. Tough love from your boy Venom. But I did want to shoot you guys this voice impressions video because I kind of wanted to try it and see where it goes. If you don't like it, say so. If you think it's funny and I should keep doing it, bring it on. But don't think I'm willing to make it into a big series. But I, like I said, I will more than likely make a second part. Because everybody needs to hear the Foge's voice. Because if anybody's ever seen the show Metalocalypse, for instance. If you've never seen it, you're a failure and you need to go see it now. Look it up online, just one episode, and watch it. It's about a heavy metal band, the best heavy metal band, the best band in the world, according to the story, which, honestly, they are pretty fucking amazing if they're a real band. You know, it's just a cartoon, but it's a, it's a cartoon about a metal band. And uh, old Foji can do every single voice from that band, and there's, what, four, four or five members? I, I don't even know, I'll top my head. But there's enough members, and they all have their own distinct personality and distinct voice and i've watched him go from one character to the next in mid-sentence like he's having a conversation with five people at once but it's just him and he doesn't recite any of this it just comes off the top of his head <coughs> kind of like how i am so stay tuned for that um hopefully i can get his ass in line and we can get this out quicker than soon or sooner than later because you guys are going to really like this. It's really funny. And hopefully I made you guys laugh a little bit with my goofy voices. And if you want a little bit more of Frank Reich with a C, like I said, go check out my old channel. It's still up as far as I know. I have one or two pranks on there from Frank Reich, which are really funny. I pranked a few people, and it was people I knew, actually. But they didn't know it was me until afterwards. I actually kind of told them. But it was still funny. You got to see it. <laughs> yeah, damn <they're> fuck face. <laughs> that's what something Frank likes to say all the time. Calls people a fuck face. He's just an asshole. But that's on that's on purpose. I also used to do Akbar. Or Kapan. Hello, I'm looking for Kapan. But, you know, I didn't really want to go into that spiel because I didn't want to offend anybody because, you know, people are kind of touchy nowadays. So, or you're making fun of Indian people or, you know, Afghani people or whatever, whatever the fuck. I ain't, yeah, I ain't no fucking hater. Anybody that watches me knows. You know, if I'm going to poke fun at something, I don't hate it. I'm just showing the love in a different way. But anyways, and, you know, I love everybody. For the most part. Even the people that hate my guts. Which we're not going to get into that conversation. <laughs> How can anybody hate him? He's so cute. Look at his fucking hair. 
Oh, trust me. There's some haters out there. And you know who you are. Anyways, guys. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. Did I do a good job? Did I suck? Would you like to hear more? Would you like to hear less? Would you like to see something different? Or are you anticipating the arrival? You know what that means? If you don't, watch my previous videos. And you'll know what I'm talking about. I've been trying to tell people, but people don't listen. You know, people catch... Uh, my videos here and there and they think they understand what they're seeing and they don't my wrestling promos ladies and gentlemen they're not labeled wrestling promos but that's what they are okay they've been going on for a couple months so there's a lot of them between me and my homeboy beast and i would love everyone to go and check them out watch from the beginning don't watch halfway through because it won't make any sense it's like opening a book and starting on chapter 7. And you don't know anything about this book. See what I'm saying? It don't make a lot of sense. Watch from the beginning. It's totally worth it. It's like, oh, well, I ain't got time to sit there and watch a bunch of videos. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, you can find time. Watch one or two a day. Get caught up. Because pretty soon, this story is going to be going into a really hardcore realm. Actually, here in the next day or so. Stay tuned. And for the ones that have been keeping track, like I just said, stay tuned. It's about to get really, really interesting. <laughs> I have something in mind. I wonder what it is. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Ah! Stop with your talking, asshole, and get off the phone. Let these people go back to their daily duties of cleaning the houses and taking care of the dirty diapers and the children and the buying the the stupid pizza with the stupid pineapple what the hell is a pineapple anyway you know what you do you take the pineapples off you throw them at your neighbor and then you go into your dresser drawer and you pull out a nine millimeter clip and you empty all the bullets out of it and then you put it on the pizza and you cut it and you cook it in the oven and then you eat it and no the bullets will not blow up as long as you cook it in 150 degrees for five minutes <laughs> anyways guys love you Feel the love, feel the flow, and until next time, I, I, I will see you again. Whoa.